All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to episode number 16. Welcome to my beer vlog. Let's get this thing rolling. So, posted one up last week uh, with one of my favorite beers. A little M43 um, from Old Nation. Man, such a great beer. If you haven't, uh, if you didn't see that video, uh, check it out. It was uh, number 15. So I had some good friends swing through uh, town the other day. They were in uh, Griffin, Georgia, visiting uh, Liz's sister. Um, so Liz and AJ are good friends of mine. They live in Bryson City, North Carolina. And Liz is a phenomenal uh, connoisseur of beer, I guess is, is one way to put it. But she, her knowledge of beer is phenomenal. She knows a lot about beer and way more than I'm probably ever going to know. But they uh, texted me on their way through town heading back to Bryson City from Griffin and said, do you mind if we swing through? Absolutely not. We love Liz and AJ, so it was super happy for them to swing through. Even more so happy that she brought beer, which is pretty awesome. So she was very excited for me to try it. She laughed and said that um, she's hope, she hopes I would like it but that it's a very good breakfast beer, which is not a bad way to start the day, I just gotta be honest with you. So, I'm gonna grab this beer real quick. So this is, is proof right here uh, that I didn't drink either one of them yet, Liz, because I wanted to get my actual reaction to this beer on film without sneaking a sip of one of these two beers. So, I don't know anything about this brewery. I mean, absolutely nothing. Um, and I'll probably butcher the name. Um, it is a brewery based out of Wisconsin. New Glarus, as I'm, I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. G-L-A-R-U-S, Glarus, Glars, Glar, I don't know. Potato, tomato, potato, tomato. Let's see, this one is called Serendipity. Serendipity, baby! Happy Accident Fruit Ale, which I'm assuming means, oops, I made some awesome beer. Which is never a bad thing. I'm very excited to try this. I posted it up online that she came through town and she uh, brought me some beer. Had two or three friends immediately message me saying, have you had uh, Spotted Cow? No, God! Which apparently is another beer from them, which is apparently a bunch of people's favorites. So, it is not something that I have readily available in this area. Um, Liz has a, a customer that goes to the Bryson City um, craft beer department. So he, when he visits home, he brings some beer back, and this is one of her favorites that he brings back. So he brought some, and she was so gracious enough to leave me not one, but two. I do like that, we gotta find it on here, it is, it's a fairly low percentage. I wanna say she said it was only like 4% uh, or something like that. Some people paint, some sing, others write, I brew. I like that. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. I'm just gonna open it and try it. I normally have canned beer down here, so don't have bottle opener. It's two weeks in a row, stupid. You have to run upstairs for something. One of these days, I'll kind of plan out what I'm doing. Until then, I shouldn't have got my mug out. It's already starting to warm up. It's really humid here in Georgia. It sucks. Let's crack one of these things open and get this thing poured. I'm very excited. Should have been a gunslinger. All right, let's get this thing poured. Oh, wow. I had no idea kind of what color to expect out of that. Oh, the aroma coming off that is amazing. Definitely very, very fruity. 
Wow. It smells delicious. All right, so very, 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 very fruity. The Oh, wow. Very smooth, um, kind of a, not a super dry aftertaste, which I you usually kind of expect out of very kind of fruity um, beer. It's got a really nice finish. Very, very smooth. Um, wow. I am going to enjoy this beer. So I'm going to drink this beer and enjoy the crap out of it. Okay, so normally I finish the whole beer during the little speedy thing, the time lapse, but the more I drank this beer, the more like flavors I figured out what they were, and I, I read all the little tiny. Das ist gut. A tiny, tiny, tiny script paragraph or four written on the side of this bottle that I was trying to read. It's so little, and I'm getting old, and apparently I need glasses. It was basically accidentally discovered, and if I read it correctly, some failed harvest. Um, so it's cranberries, apples, and cherries. And the cranberry was a taste I could not put my finger on. Because I don't drink a lot of cranberry juice. Because I'm not 90 year old, whatever. But it's, it's a, man, it's super good. It is smooth. Uh, normally if anything with kind of apples got, it's really crisp. But it's not really, it's not a super crisp, like kind of a, has that kind of bite to it. It's very smooth. And there's a lot of flavor going on. There's so much on my palate that. You get a little bit of the apple, a lot of the cranberry, that kind of, that bitter kind of after, um, you know, you've had cranberry juice before. It's got that little bit of like bittery aftertaste. You definitely get that, but it's not dry. Like normal cranberry juice dries my mouth out. I'm guessing the cherries and the apples cancel that out. God, that is a, that is a good accidental sour ale. Daniel Herring. I can't promise I can save you this beer, so find someone to trade with you on Instagram or wherever, but you need to find that beer. That is a good beer. I think you enjoy the crap out of that, Daniel. Um, Happy Accident Fruit Ale. Man, that is super good. All right. Delicious. I now understand why Liz said it's a great breakfast beer. That is good. Uh, totally makes sense. I need that and like a pop tart. Well, maybe not a pop tart. Maybe like a really nice pastry. That is a good, good beer. Now I'm disappointed because I have one left and I can't get any more. If any friends that can get me this beer and can send it here, maybe Mitchell Jacobson, I think your dad still lives in Wisconsin. I might be calling in a favor, buddy. My, uh, my APR Oktoberfest shirt, even though it's not close to October. Speaking of, uh, speaking of Oktoberfest, the other night I was, I had a long day. My wife and kids are usually in bed by eight o'clock. But the other night I just really wanted a bar stool. I wanted to go find a place to sit and have a good beer. And I went to Dry County Brewery, which is just a few miles uh, down the road. I think it's like seven minutes from my house. Really, really cool atmosphere. It's a great place. They've grown a lot. They've got uh, 
a lot of really good beers. Their menu had gotten a lot bit bigger since the last time I had gone in. I think the first time I had gone in was probably a year or so ago, maybe two years ago, and they had like maybe six beers, if I remember correctly. I think they had like 10, 11, or 12 beers on this time around. But when I got there, I had this giant beer stein that I had seen on the counter, and I sat down and the very nice bartender was uh, asking me what I like. I do what every bartender hates, and I say surprise me with something, I like everything. When I go to a brewery, I want to try, to, I want to try everything you've got on your menu to the best of my ability, but he said that they have a sneak peek for a Oktoberfest beer, and if you buy one of the steins, it was 15 bucks for this giant stein. I, I'll be right back. The stein is gigantic. I'm so, this is a proper, proper beer stein. I mean, one pint, like three. I mean, look. The cans were awesome. The cans were these little bitty, they had their German lederhosen on, which was hysterical. I took a picture, I'll, I'll post up the picture um, so you can see what that looked like. But super, super cool. Uh, again, a great beer. They also had their new, um, a new version of La Chusa, which is like their version of a, a good Corona. It's the best way to describe it. I think I've talked about it in a, one of my vlogs before. But they had it with uh, La Chusa with lime which was pretty good. And funny enough, I ran into two or three friends that I hadn't seen in a while, so I got to sit and chit chat with them. Thanks, Dry County. I had a blast. The Oktoberfest was great, and I'm enjoying the crap out of my beer stein, so thank you very much. Um, Oktoberfest 2019. Serendipity. Serendipity, baby! Liz, you're amazing. That is a good beer. I enjoyed the hell out of that. You guys should follow Liz on Instagram. Uh, she is uh, under the tap. Just find her on Instagram. She's got a great uh, beer page for all of you beer lovers out there. So definitely check her out. Thanks Liz and AJ for dropping by. Thanks Liz for the awesome beer. And yes, I did send Liz home with some other beers. Um, I had a bunch of really good um, Atlanta Brewing Company beers in the refrigerator. Guys, I have gotten to 75 subscribers on YouTube, which I know for some of you, sounds stupid but it means a lot to me that you guys have taken the time to watch these videos to subscribe to these videos and to all my friends that have liked these and people that i have no idea who you are who've liked these and subscribed thank you so much it really means a lot i greatly appreciate the time that you take watching these i enjoy making them so don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell button on these that way you'll get all the notifications for anything that i post up on my youtube channel Thanks again. This is Chad Gilbert's Beer Vlog. Until the next beer, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I walked all the way around. You thought I was going to come back out of that door over there, didn't you? Fooled you. Thanks again so much, guys, for watching these videos. Thanks to the subscribers. I posted earlier today that it was 70. It's now 75. You guys are awesome. Thanks again for watching.